Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. We're going to tap into... Uh, we're just going to do an energy tap here. Why not? Okay. Let's see what message the spirit has for you. Anything that spirit wants you to know. Anything that you need to uh, get answered. Hopefully it will be in this message. You can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus or north node. You can also be cross-watching for Aquarius if you're dealing with an Aquarius. You are welcome here as well. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be, okay? If you would like a personal reading, click the description box below. Visit my website to book a personal reading. We take Zell. We take Cash App. Cash App has been tripping today, so you can feel free to use Zell. My phone number for Zelle is also my Apple Pay phone number, so you can also pay with Apple Pay if need be. All right. First card out is the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> and eight of pentacles okay 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 double lover nine of wands Seven of Swords, and Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, Aqua, what's up? So we got some something, some some issues surrounding your finances. Okay, I'm not saying issues as if like it's it's something that can't be handled, something you know absolutely major that's bothering you, but something with your finances here. I feel like you're being very protective or standoffish, maybe at work, um, in reference to working with others there, okay? Now, this is like, maybe you're like, you're giving too much for a little, right? Or uh, maybe you're feeling like you deserve some type of pay raise, but you're not getting it, okay? You've been working hard, having a lot of patience, but it just seems as though you're, you're attached to something. You could be in the middle of two things that you do at work, okay? So... You could have a job and, you know, you're like, hey, it's easy. Why not? Let's stick it out, right? But then you have another passion that you have. And it's like you're not giving up on it. You haven't given up on it, but I see you removing your energy, okay? So some of you guys could be walking away from a job. It could, with the pinnacles here, okay, you could have been there for three years. Some of you guys were six years. Some of you guys were eight years, okay? So this is, this is affecting a large amount of people making a decision. Should I stay? Should I go? You know, getting some type of clarity. The clarity will come to you very soon in reference to this particular energy. Of course, making sure that you're doing the right thing before. So, um, again, I was just talking to uh, uh, my Ia, and she was saying, make sure that, you know, when you leave your job, you can, you know, replace the money. And sometimes, you know, I had to sit down and be honest with myself. It's like, dude, I've, I've been made more money than what I make on my job. It's just I'm always doing so much, you know. I'm always trying to, you know, enhance what I'm doing, you know, in my businesses. But sometimes, you know, we're on a situation and God is telling us, like, okay, you got to get out your comfort zone because you cannot grow in your comfort zone. You know, you know that you got a safety net here. So it could be times where you could go harder on your business. It could be times where you could go, you know, go deeper, you know, be able to travel more or something like that for your business. But you have a job or something like that that's holding you down. Make sure that you're making the right decision. OK, make sure that you're making the decisions as far as being able to pay your rent, you know, being stable, being, you know, being sufficient enough to, you know, walk away from your job. Ultimately, I do see someone here walking away from this, right? Um, especially if you feel like you're not getting paid enough money, if you feel like you're not being valued. 
Um, you got to do what you got to do. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands for the collective of Aquarius. Yeah. Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah. The Empress in reverse. Okay, so you could have been very defensive. There's a change that's happening here. So you could have been very defensive and just was like, you know, I will leave this place. <laughs> I, you could have this job, baby. I could do what I do. But you didn't, you know, like the passion died out, but you didn't carefully think this through. You need to make sure that you have your T's crossed and your I's dotted before walking away. Even even if you have the situation to make the make money. People put on, you know, people try to, you know, put this persona on social media like, oh, I made this money so I don't have to work a job. Baby, do you know that I make more money outside of my job with my business and I still, you know what I'm saying, haven't left. I'm, I'm preparing to leave now, but I still haven't left. I, I thought that once I started making more money, then I would just jump out there and leave my job. And I didn't. I actually just celebrated a work anniversary uh, about a week ago, right? You don't have to move like social media moves, Aquarius, right? Like, because they're not moving logically. They're not putting on social media that they're begging people for money. They're not putting on social media that they really having a hard time, you know, with living arrangements and so on and so forth. They're just putting this quote-unquote dream out here. I followed my dream and I quit my job and I did what I had to do and it was rough, but then we got there. The rough part is the part that they're not telling you about. And as an Aquarius, you like to be, you like to be together. You like to have things, you know, in order. You like to know, you know, what's happening. You like to have some type of steady form of income. So keep that in mind, Aquarius, as you're making your next moves in reference to your job. Okay, let's clarify the three of pentacles for the collective of Aquarius. Okay, strength in reverse. All right, so so something that, like it's something you don't wanna something you don't wanna do here. You don't want to work with people. Like, it's something. Yeah, Hierophant in reverse. Oh, my God. Everything in reverse right now? What's happening? Hierophant in reverse in the fourth source. So it's like not working, not working with someone. No longer wanting to commit yourself to something. So you're in deep thought about it here, Okay. Um, not, not, somebody is just kind of over it. So I'm not going to tell you that your feelings are not valid. You know, um, you like, you know what? I, I put in enough time. I, I no longer want to commit myself. I need to look in other places. You're sitting down, resting on it, asking your spirit guides to guide you will be perfect. Okay. Expert, asking, asking for guidance to what you should do. Let's clarify the six of pentacles for the collective of Aquarius. Okay, you have Emperor here. The Empress is in reverse. Now, keep in mind. Okay, so with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Emperor, you have the King of Cups, and then you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. But you have the Nine of Cups right here. Some of you guys could be depending, you're, you're, you're adding someone into your mix or your budget, okay? Like some of you guys have already walked away from your job and had some type of expectations on making things happen, had some type of expectations on your person, you know, being there for you. Some of you guys could have been having expectations on marriage, a possible marriage, and that's wish fulfillment, but you're not getting that either, some of you guys thought that the person that you were with was going to be supportive of you, but that person was actually leaning on your support more than you knew it. Like, it's like you're looking for the tables to turn and things to balance out, and it's not really balancing out how you want it to balance out with someone. Somebody here is, 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 is walking away from something here emotionally as well. While you're going through this transformation, you're like, man, listen, I'm already going through transformations with my finances and trying to make things happen, okay? You could also be looking into another passion of yours. If you've walked away from your from your job, if you've made a decision, and I feel like, I feel like it's a good decision, but you didn't put a lot of thought into it. 
Like, you are thinking about it, but you didn't do the A, B, and C. Okay? So, just to tell you guys one of the things that I do. Um, I'm one of those readers. I, I don't believe in don't put your business. If I've been through it, I'm going to tell y'all what I've been through. So, it is what it is. What I do is if I'm putting a plan together, and it's especially a major movement. Number one, I'm going to go to EFA. You, gotta, you, you need to ask EFA. But uh, outside of that, I put A, B, and C. I put different plans together. So if this happened, we can go this way. If that happened, we can go that way. If that happened, we go that way. Proactive instead of reactive. Put together the plans. And then you tweak these plans to make it make sense for you if they were to happen. Okay? So it just seems like someone is going a different way with some type of plan that they created here. Um, you may not get the support that you thought you were getting um, because you weren't aligned with the person somebody here is this they're emperor and they do they're in a relationship but they don't want marriage you could have poured a lot into the situation it's like now what okay let's clarify the eight of pentacles spirit Okay, nine of, nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, and the World Card. Ashe. So, having patience, continuously working on what you're doing. So, if, if you were the type that you've already left your job and you have some type of, you know, self-employment going on, continue to stay focused. I do see good times ahead. I do see some type of celebration. The cycle is ending if something is very stagnant. Continue to stay focused. If you have been working on your business, contemplating on leaving, leaving a job, I see a breakthrough happening with your business here. Um, you being able to celebrate in a cycle ending, you know, because this is, this is fate, right? Um, fulfillment, you know, harmony. Um, you could be traveling more coming up here okay just have the patience right and allow these things to work out on the back side which is so important let's clarify the devil energy for the collective of aquarius yeah so devil energy is capricorn energy but the devil energy you have the nine of swords here you have the three of pinnacles here I'm going to tell you right now why this devil here, and you got the eight of, eight of pentacles in reverse. I'm going to tell you right now while I was here. Spirit is asking for you to have patience and work through this process. You stressing in your head. Now, the devil energy talks about that, right? So you're stressing. You're in fear, okay? You're like, something is ending. What's going to happen after this end? What's going to happen after I leave this job? What's going to happen if this business doesn't take off? You're not giving the patience, right? Because you're like, you're, you're too far in your head. And so here's the thing. When we know something has to be done, we acknowledge it. This has to be done. Then we release and then we let go and we let God do the work right so we don't live in fear fear is false evidence appearing real we don't sit in the energy of okay well what's next and how is this going to work man if you believe and trust in god if you trust in the most high right and you have a pure heart it's going to all unfold for you it's not your duty to stress about this because no matter how much you stress what's going to happen is still going to happen right so if you're going to pray then why stress and if you're going to stress then why pray Right? You got to at some point give this over and say, I'm going to release all attachments, all, all toxic bonds, all negative feelings, all, you know what I'm saying? That we, that Things like that happen when we try to man the situation. And yes, it's our situation, but when we believe in a higher source, when we believe in structure, when we believe in the fact of whoever it is that you believe in, I believe in Ifa. And what Ifa tells me, Ifa words don't hit the floor. So there's not been a promise or there's not been a, that's not been a old do. There's not been a, a message. There's not been a, 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 a offering um, that I've given or heard that, that did not come to pass in my life. Right? So I can't say what you're doing, but Somebody here is doing too much. You know what I'm saying? If you're going, if you if you're going to say, you know what? If you're going to have good Iwa Pele, right? If you're going to have good Iwa Pele, if you're going to have good Iwa Rere, if you're going to have good, just good overall character about what you do, overall good humility, you're going to let spirit fight this battle, and you're going to release yourself. You know what you got to do? You create the plans. It's up to you to create the plans and you to take the actions. So the common sense comes in the plans. And if you're an Aquarius, I know you have plenty of common sense, right? And the common sense that you may feel like you may lack, 
go speak to somebody else and get them, you know, get them on it. I do offer business coaching. I do offer spiritual coaching. I offer all kind of life coaching. Go to my website. You can visit me there. If you need a spiritual support system, we offer that too. We have a prayer call every single morning, 630 Eastern time. For my love bucks that's not on Eastern time, <laughs> it's 630 Eastern time, okay? Every morning, we have 6.30, 6.35, somewhere in there. We we have Osei Fa, where we give offers to stay balanced. The thing about this is it requires consistency. It requires you to stay focused, and it requires you to move with a, with a good heart. So my phone number is in that chat. My Zelle number, that hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Because... Whoever this is, it's like you want to do it, but we do have people that feel like, well, I know, you know, I'm going to pray about it, but I have to take action. And you're right. You have to take action. And that's creating the plan. To stress is not your duty. It's not your duty to stress, Aquarius. Okay, let's clarify the lovers here for the collective of Aquarius. Knight of Swords in reverse. It's like through whatever's happening with your finances, you got something happening in your love life. And it's like, I think it's aggravating you more. But here's what, I, here's what I've learned in the process of that, right? When one thing starts to, we, <laughs> we be like, man, golly, it's, everything messing up at the same time. This is just, this is, this is the conflict, right? This is the conflict that you've been having with yourself, right? It could be a relationship that you've been holding on for some time and spirit has said, okay, this isn't for you. And yet you ignored the red flags and now it's time for you to need somebody. They can't be there for you or they don't really want to do what it is that they're supposed to do by you, right? To have equal reciprocity. This job, you already know it's your comfort zone. It may pay good, but you may want to, you, you may feel like you need to be paid more. It's your comfort zone and you already know you had to step out of that so whenever things in our life different things in our life are happening at once it's because we're trying to ascend and move on past these things are you going to release these things or are you going to sit and try to salvage the things that are not salvageable right this is where you are knight of swords fool in reverse and the four of cups right no you're no longer going to something towards something that no longer serve you're no longer taking action you're no longer trying to be someone's fool you're stepping out of that fool energy like no i'm not gonna just jump when you tell me to jump i'm not gonna just move when you tell me to move right now i'm gonna focus on what i need to focus on you didn't see me as a blessing so let me show you uh what it feels like when my when, when i'm not here when my energy's not here this is somebody that's already in your energy but they're not coming to stand to the occasion of Aquarius, when you are doing what it is that you're doing with your finances, you're trying to adjust your finances. Now, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. This could be your person's energy here, and they may feel like you're not standing um, to the occasion when it comes to their finances. But whoever this is, somebody's going through some financial <coughs> financial issues, and they want to know, like, what's what, what's happening? Let's clarify the nine of wands. Um, nine of wands for the collective of Aquarius. But I don't really get too many heavy, like even you know, love still trying to trying to trickle in. I still I don't get a lot of financial reads. So a lot of my people they don't really you know look at financial reads. This reading may not even do anything because people I generally over ninety plus percent of the time read on love because that's what always comes to me. So we'll see. I'm gonna leave it up regardless of the case. Yeah, so whoever this person is, um, whether it's you having money issues, them having money issues, what's happening with this money issues, you have the nine of wands, right? So it's like, either this person is not giving up on you, or you're like, you know what, I see it, but I'm going to go ahead and exit stage left. You're walking away from something. I'm not going to take this new beginning in love. I'm not going to do this. This could be somebody that... When you needed them, they were not there for you. When you were trying to make things happen, they were not there for you. And now they're trying to re-enter into your life on a different aspect now, right? But it's like you are working on something with you, Aquarius. You're working on your finances. So you're like, no, nah, we're going to just let them, we're going to let that be. I don't want to be burdened, right? This person is also showing up as the king of wands in reverse. So this person is showing up as a liar, indecisive, codependent, um, 
a whole bunch of things that that they should not be. King of Wands in reverse is definitely not a good sign. So someone here is like, no, I really want to make this work. But Aquarius, I see you removing your energy from this and focusing on what this is that you have. You could have actually helped this person out tremendously when it came to whatever they were doing. But then this person didn't come to rise to, a, to the occasion when it came to you. Right? So, you know, first time, okay, a person maybe didn't know. Second time, shame on you, Aquarius. Don't let nobody come back in your life and always choose the latter other than you and then still in the same same position. We don't play that. Don't, don't let nobody come in. This is, this is a person because as an Aquarius, you're going to, your energy is going to stand out regardless. And, and, and with all of these pinnacles here, you've been working extremely hard on your finances and trying to get things to go. And this person knows that. This is someone here that could be trying to come in and suck your energy dry, right? Oh, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, you, you you got people that are so messed up in their brain. They can love you, but they, their whole mission is to break you, right? And you're like, you know, I'm, <laughs> you can't break me. I'm not beautifully broken because I'm never broken. You can bend, but I don't break. And that's what you have to let these people understand. Aquarius, you are not this person here in this energy, right? Whatever they've chosen, whatever they've done to you before. Okay, first time, great. Second time, oh, forget that, right? So now they want to come in for the third time. It's a no-go. It's a no-go. If they're coming in for the second time, it's a no-go, right? You have to stand on what you believe in before you talking about love because this ain't love. This is somebody that's intentionally coming to wreak havoc in your life because they're jealous they can't be you they want to be you they want you know yeah your partners can be jealous too they can be jealous too or they can look at you as like okay aquarius got it so being that i know aquarius got it i'm going to um go back to aquarius you know let let you be somebody doormat you you that doormat aquarius Let's clarify the Seven of Swords here for the Cut Little Aquarius. Tower. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no. I see you walking away from a job and from somebody, Aquarius. Like, somebody's coming in and you walking away from them. And you walking away from a job, but just continue to have patience and make sure that you're making, yeah, yeah, okay, the tower with the sun, yeah, make sure you're making the right decision. It's things that are happening in more areas than one in your life, but it's on purpose, all right, it's on purpose. You're not going to have to choose. One more for the seven of swords, for the of Aquarius. Yeah, you're not going to have to choose. That's what I say. You're not going to have to choose. You're not going to have to, you know, be in this particular energy. The tower moment is happening. You got the tower next to the sun, okay? This sudden ending is happening so that you can reach your victory. This So that you can reach the growth. So that you can have success. The tower is happening for a reason. These areas in your life are breaking down for a reason, Aquarius. So you have to go with the flow. The reason that this person that's coming back, you automatically know. It's going to be a feeling that you probably never felt for this person when they come back to you and try to reconcile. It's going to hit you out of nowhere. Where right now in your heart, listening to this video, you're like, well, that can't be, that can't be Marcus. That can't be, that can't be Dalvin. That can't be this person or that person because I love them so. But whoever this person is, when they come back to your face, because you've done the work and you've ascended, you're going to be like, yeah, no, ill. what? You, you want to do what now? <laughs> I'm working on me, I'm working on my finances, I'm working on realigning, and you want to come back all of a sudden and talk about what's happening? And, no, uh-uh, mm -mm. Towers for a reason. The job you're leaving is for a reason. It's to bring in happiness. It's to bring in growth. Just remember to uh, budget, Aquarius. 
budget your finances wheel of fortune here something is something is destined to work in your favor okay so ace of swords you're going to have your truth you're going to have your moment of clarity you're going to know what to do just create a couple different plans okay it can go this way it can go that way it can go that way either way i'm going to be prepared because there's nothing like a person that's making a move but they're not prepared okay put your plans in motion okay and then continue to up, update your plans as you go along don't just be like, okay, I got plan A and B, S, G. No, you need to have plan A, B, and C, okay, and see them plans all the way through, okay? If this happened, this is how we're going to do this, 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 this. How are you going to survive? How's the rent going to get paid? How are the groceries going to get in the house? How are you going to continue to add money to what it is that you're doing? How are you going to evolve? How are you going to get out of that situation to get into the next situation? Plan it out. That's it. You are in control of your own destiny, not no one else. Angel of Love is here. Angel of Love is number 49 or the number 13, which is number 4. Okay? You have six, uh, 7 Chakra, uh, Archangel Uriel, number 41 or the number 5. Your 7 Chakra is your uh, crown. The top. Right? So you're guided by the angels in reference to you. I feel like this is love and finances and love and in romance, okay? What you need to do, what you love. Perception. Remember, your reality is not someone else's perception and vice versa. Your perception is not their reality. Their perception is not your reality. You got to know that, right? We, For some reason, they, they do a good job at trying to trick y'all and make y'all feel something different. You got to think, and man, here the number 46 or the number 10. You got the world, 29, number 11. Cycle is ending. Thinking man, someone is thinking and then what? Victory, okay, and renewal, right? Okay. So, again, trust your instincts with this situation, with this person. Uh, you need to accept them for who they are, okay? Um, some of you guys, you guys had a problem with this person, being nonchalant or keeping you private, okay? There's something, there's new love coming in. Uh, definitely does, don't think it's the person that you turning down in the reading. This is somebody else. Uh, somebody has been thinking about you a lot, ready to make take action and come in on you. This person here is somebody that's coming with equal reciprocity. They can assist you. They can uh, help you get to where you need to go. This ain't somebody that's coming in that need from you, okay? This ain't, this ain't that. This, this is not that, okay? Um, all right, so Aquarius, that is your reading here. I hope that it resonated. I feel like I want to pull one more Oracle deck. Okay, I do. I do. So, let's pull from here. Because I feel like your message in here. Because I'm talking to so many different people, I'm going to let the cards fly as they may. Take the messages as need be. Put your effing heart out there and love without fear, okay? Yeah, there's some new love coming in, I told you. Compromise. So compromise is key. You're going to have to compromise at some point, right? In something. We all have to compromise in something. Okay. 
Okay, fears of deception or lies might have to be discussed in a respectful way. Example, I will leave your effing butt if you cheat, lie, or deceive me. So, yeah, make it clear. Don't be scared to love, but make it clear. There's big happy changes coming in for you, Aquarius. So, there's there's somebody that's here, okay? There's, there's happy change, changes, okay? So, for others of you... You may feel like right now it's unlikely that you are going to get love. This is not for you. Romance is not coming into you. You also may feel like it's not the right time. There's helpful people around you or you're hearing this message for a reason right now. You will have success, all right? You will bounce back from this. There's also recovery here. Whether it's in business, whether it's in love, it is your time. Your person is coming in. Don't hold on to what somebody else did to you and make somebody else suffer, right? You have to be ready. Just be yourself and if it don't, and if they don't like it, bye-bye, dumbass. Okay? Hey, be you. Open your heart to the highest expression of love, you cute little sh-ish. Write down everything you love about your partner and, sh and show some effing appreciation. Say something to somebody. Get out your head. Find someone who is kind and somewhat effing normal. I feel like those all apply to, you, to, to, to Aquarius at different points. In, in, in their life so yeah there you go there's new love coming in this person that's coming back that that wasn't giving equal reciprocity wasn't aligning with you that's not your person somebody completely different i shame 